can't see anything because of the sun, huh? It seems like it's hitting good in the sun. Today, we've got another cool project, Nissan 370Z. It's a close, another closed deck engine with an AAM Stage 2 twin turbo kit. But first, we're going to be putting on a Shop Houston coolant pressure kit because we want to be able to monitor coolant pressure and potential head lift and head gasket integrity. I have Trap over here. He's getting it ready, wiring it up. Once that's done, we'll put it on the dyno and start tuning it. Oh, it's hot. Yeah. I think probably got a cool now over there, huh? Yeah. So I'm gonna wait for this. I'm gonna wait for this. When she says, Oh, it's my first time. I noticed like. pressure kit is installed. Um, we're bolting the car up to the dyno right now. We're gonna make a few passes, see what it makes, get it uh, dialed in. Uh, come over here real quick, I'll show you where it goes. So we're using the driver's side MAF sensor as an input, bring it in over here. So that connector, we just unplug it, plug the sensor harness in there. We have the um, coolant pressure sensor right here in the lower radiator hose tucked. And then that way we configure the input in Ecutech to display coolant pressure. We can also tie fail safes or check engine light or anything associated with that, depending on what we see, but not expecting this motor to lift. We'll see how it goes. All right, first start up on the base map, speed density with 1700 injectors. Fuel trim's looking good. We've got one R in the tank. Custom map E result is the uh, coolant pressure input see it's sitting about 15 psi so right now we're just gonna drive the car make sure drivability is good make a quick pass on wastegate pressure log everything and see where we end up pounds of boost at redline. Boost seems to be tapering off a bit. Coolant pressure starts around 15 psi, creeps about one, one to two psi, not even uh, towards redline. So uh, seems good so far.
made another pass that only picked up like one more pound of boost, but it picked up a ton of power. So these turbos are working pretty well, and uh, everything's looking fine in the log. Coolant pressure is the same as before, still stable. Let's see here. Yeah, about about 17 pounds, which is uh, pretty close to what we were dealing with before. Fuel pressure seems good. seen about 26 pounds up top coolant pressure is the same no timing pulled either but the obvious issue glaring issue is the inlet air temps so 69 Celsius is a ton I think it's like um, 160 plus on the IAT so uh, we're gonna cap it right here and uh, we're gonna be done I'm gonna turn the boost back down a tiny bit for him on the street but it'll be uh, It'll be ready to race comfortably at 850 horsepower. Past that, it's 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 over with. So we're done. Got really close to 900 wheel. Let's pull up the dyno graph real quick. So final numbers was 888 wheel horsepower. So a really stout results, and it actually is still making um, over 850 wheel horsepower by the time it hits the rev limit. So really good results overall. Just need the better intercooler. The inlet air temps were getting to around um, close to 160 Fahrenheit on the last couple runs. So once that's all sorted out, um, it should make a little bit more power. But I think at that point, the turbos are going to be about done. But only 26 pounds of boost is all it took. So really good uh, results. Compression ratio on this motor was just perfect. We were watching coolant pressure and fuel pressure the whole time, and both of them were exactly where they need to be at. So very happy overall. Um, I'll show you the dyno graphs for all the runs overlaid real quick. So on this screen, it's a little easier to see, but you'll see all the blue line is just uh, wastegate pressure. These wastegates are pretty tight still, so it's still making like 17 pounds on the gate, but nearly 700 wheel horsepower, so really good. And then once we started adding boost, the power just shot up, went from 830 to 880 to finally nearly 890. So really good gains. This, these stage two turbos are really nice with this motor because the torque comes in real fast, but it stays pretty flat all the way to the 8,000 RPM rev limit. So really good top end still. It's not, the power is not careening over on the, uh, on the top end uh, towards red line. So just a really, really good setup overall. It should go really fast on the street.